My name's Sam. Welcome back to Service Area. Today, I am not on camera. If you're newer to my Let's Play videos, sometimes I use my face cam, sometimes I don't, depending on how I'm feeling and what my energy level is and all of that fun stuff. Today, I am a fun little, uh, little woohoo heart <laughs> today. I'm actually recording this on Valentine's Day. So that's fun. So I'm like, you know what? I guess I got to be a little woohoo heart chilling over here lightly in the corner at a low opacity, you know, as you do. Anyway, we've played the Norvege and the Fortiers, and I was going to kind of uh, sort of just go along the road. These are all community lots or empty houses, but I was going to kind of bring us over to this little little, almost, I guess, neighborhood. Now we have the, this is the orphan household, the bricks, the poverty, the Dufour and the Raven Gold. Initially, I was thinking of probably going like to the bricks, the poverty and then coming back this way or going some other way. I, I don't know, but I decided that instead I do want to visit the Poverty Household, and that is because the Poverty Household have a lot of connections to a lot of the mysteries in town, and I think it's really important for us to get to know them. They are the household where Tyler Poverty comes from, who is a big missing character. I almost equate Tyler it, from what I've picked up and obviously I'm still discovering certain things, but from what I've picked up, I sort of equate Tyler to like the Bella Goth of Pleasant View, right? This sort of like overarching like mystery that everybody kind of knows about or was somehow has some sort of memory of or knows something of. So I think it's really important that we actually visit Tyler's family and get to know them and their side of the story. Let's read their little bio here and see kind of where they're at. I did some Googling quickly to try and pronounce some of the names correctly. Most of them have names I'm familiar with, but a, the, the two main parents. So apparently this is Ismini, Diago, Caroline, Annalise, Sherwood, and Mistake. <laughs> a tragic name she is. Although they have always stuck together, the Poverties have never had luck with money. It's already challenging for Diago and Ismini to keep the household running. Things have become even more complicated with Caroline's temper. To make matters worse, the mysterious disappearance and subsequent death of their eldest son, Tyler, has left the family devastated. Uh, yeah, so a big part of, of this household is Tyler going missing. So let's go jump in and check things out. Okie dokie. Here we are. They have a, we can see this is the poverty house. They have a big giant brick house all to themselves, it seems. Um, they have a couple of cars here. Looks like we have one one functioning, one not quite so functioning. <laughs> um, they've got quite a big backyard with some toys and stuff. Like, this is pretty nice out here. Let's see inside here. We can kind of get a look. It's like, we've, we've got big bedroom, big bedroom. This is a massive bedroom. And then little tiny bedroom. Um, got kind of a middle area here. And then little bathroom. Another bathroom, the living room. Uh, another little teeny bedroom and sort of a dining and just general living sitting area. The little kitchen. So the the, the layout's kind of unique. There's uh, some weird things going on. Maybe we could have some more kids living up here eventually. But maybe little Annalise. I believe this is supposed to be Annalise's bedroom. I'm pretty sure. These are very pinky, pinky pink little child, it seems. Uh, so let's start. I'm going to try and be real organized with my way of going through and and uh, explaining each of the Sims instead of jumping all over the place. So here is the mother of the household. This is Ismini Poverty. Uh, I really like her face. I have some default replacement eyeshadow that makes the Sims look like they have like dark eyes, like like they're tired. And honestly, I think it works for her in this storyline. Like, she looks disheveled. But I don't think that was the intention at all from the creator. Um, I think it just happened how my defaults are, because I have all sorts of defaulted makeup and everything. So it works well. But I think she's really cool. So she's a family sim. She is an aspiration failure. Her lifetime wish is to reach a golden anniversary. The, she does work as a dishwasher in the culinary career. It's just level one. Let me see. What is your personality like? She's a cancer. Kind of more on the neat side. Kind of in between. Outgoing shy. Also kind of average between lazy and active. Very serious, but 
more in the direction of being nice. So it's interesting that she's really serious. Maybe that's part of her needing to be maybe the one in charge of the household in some way. Let me, uh, let me read her bio before we get into the memories. So Ismini's bio. Ismini is at her limit. When she was given the news that Tyler's remains had been found, she didn't know what to do. But she was even more confused when she saw him walking in front of the grocery store the next day. Annalise says it was all a hallucination, but Ismini thinks something weird is going on. Diago supports her in every way, but the bills are piling up. So I think that, again, she's kind of the one that's worrying about the bills and the technical side of things, but now she's, again, seeing Tyler wander by now. I don't recall that Tyler... We, we have few a few sims that have passed away and become zombies, but I don't believe Tyler is a zombie. I noticed she has a fear down here of Tyler becoming see, being a zombie, but she also has a fear of Krayshawn being a zombie, but like Krayshawn is obviously a zombie in the profile. I guess she just hasn't seen Krayshawn yet, but I don't think Tyler is a zombie, but I'm guessing she's referring to the clone that we ran into um, who was it? B. Sasha brought home from school when we were playing in the Fortier household. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. What, what's, what's your memories looking like, friend? Okay, the Repo Man came recently. Right, right after Tyler died, the Repo Man came. And then Tyler ran away. Interesting. So Tyler ran away, and then she met Cautious Sleeper and met Peyton Dufour, who is... Technically their neighbor and also the wife of like a military guy in town. Interesting. Then Tyler died. Repo Man met Clive. I'm not familiar who Clive Whisper looks like his name is. Don't know who he is. In curious name. There was also a burglar. Balthasar. Now it's interesting because we saw a burglar in the picture of Kreish when Krayshawn was being killed in our very first household, there was a burglar involved. And I'm not really clear about where that is, but it's interesting that a burglar also appeared right before Tyler goes missing, quote unquote, runs away. Probably everybody assumed he ran away, but maybe he didn't. I don't know. Vermin. Okay. And Tyler, also Tyler's got a D. Interesting. Looks like she met lots of, lots of different Sims here. Tyler grew up badly, so Tyler's had a rough go of things. Annalise did grow up well. Diego, just this is all kind of the basics. At first kiss, yeah. Okay, interesting though. We do have some interesting things. Again, we will be looking at the household photos. Those will, I think, will tell a lot of stories, especially with this family. So that's mommy. Where's daddy? <laughs> also an aspiration failure, also a family sim. He wants to get a job. Did she have anything locked in? Oh, she had Resurrect Tyler locked in. Interesting. It's. I wonder if we should have her, like, get the paranormal career so that she can get the, um, the Resurrect Anomatron or something. But anyway, this is Diago, the husband. He wants to get a job. I don't think... Uh, yeah, he does not have a job, so I'm getting, you know, <laughs> explanatory there. Self-explanatory. Um, lifetime wishes to graduate three kids from college. I still have not added a college to this hood. I'd like to look into how I want to do that. I haven't had a chance to yet. Um, I also didn't really look at relationships in hers. I'm sorry, I said I wasn't going to jump around, and here I am jumping around. Yeah, she does not like Cautious Sleeper. Let me go back over to Isma here. She does not like Cautious Sleeper. She's very unhappy with Bud Automotive. She's still kind of furious with him. Very unhappy with Barbara Poverty. We'll have to see where the family tree is with that. Unhappy with Madame. Zirconia. Nobody likes Madame. Not very happy with Peyton. Well, she did, there's a lot of people she's not really a big fan of in town, it seems like. It seems, it seems. Let me see what is his deal here. He obviously is married to her. Do you have any dislikes? Yeah, kind of the same folks. They also dislike Cautious Sleeper. He's a suspicious character. He's just a townie, but he's a very suspicious guy. I think he's got something to do with something here. Uh, oh, he's very shy. Diago's very shy. He's, he's not like super messy, but he's not super neat. He's extremely nice though, and more on the playful side, but kind of lazy. He's got an interesting personality. He is an Aqu uh, Aquarius. 
What is your bio, sir? Diego has always been much more positive than Ismini, even if things get ugly. He is always there to make his family smile. After what happened with Tyler, he knows he has to dedicate himself to his family as much as possible. So yeah, that definitely reflects in their personalities. We saw that Ismini is uh, very serious, whereas he is very nice and playful and stuff. So that's interesting. What kind of, he's probably got a lot of similar stuff here. What is meet Rita? Okay, Rita is one of their neighbors. Repo man. Oh, it's got a picture of a of a, a ceiling fan in the icon. I guess he stole a ceiling. The, the repo man took their ceiling fan. Okay, the what? Got fired. Okay, so it looks like he was in the business career previously and did get fired. Uh, met Clive also, he, he also met Clive. Tyler died met Peyton and met Cautious. Was it like, are Peyton and Cautious like, were they the ones that had to bring, tell them or something? Like was, what is, why were they, why are they both here? Then Tyler ran away, the burglar, the vermin, met a lot of people and then pretty much the same ones as before. So yeah, I don't, it's kind of interesting that I guess we'll have to try and figure out what kind of job he might want to get now. I wonder like why did he lose his job other than maybe, I guess maybe just not being able to go because of his kid dying and you know he as it said in his bio he needs to be he wants to be dedicated to his family and everything so i'm guessing that's involved with him being fired or quitting the next we have caroline poverty i also am going to look at the family tree in a moment too to clear up some of the connections here but so we actually have caroline poverty who well you know what? why don't i look at the family tree right now so caroline is the sister to is is Mini, who is also sister to barbara so we have Caroline, Ismini, and Barbara. And then we can we can see the child, three children here, Sherwood, Annalise, and Tyler, with Diego and, and Ismini. Um, but Caroline has this child named Mistake, Poverty, <laughs> which is a very sad little name, obviously. And this child's father is Bud Automotive, who, as we can see, is in fact a zombie, and was also similar to Cray Sean, was also killed in a mysterious way. He's part of the automotive family, uh, which we should also probably play pretty soon. I think they're also a good household to check out. Um, I mean, obviously we're gonna play all of them, but as far as who to get sorted out first, but she has this want to be engaged to Aaron. Now I do happen to know that Aaron is the guy who is currently, I believe, engaged to Madame Zirconia. I'm pretty sure that they're they're in a whole thing right now. Madame Zirconia here, who runs the local brothel, <laughs> is engaged to this guy who she's in love with, Aaron. I'm pretty sure. We haven't played them yet either. They're going to be an important one to check out soon too. So that's kind of, there's, there's a lot of, there's a very tangled web. Does she have like any enemies or anything? Okay, yeah, Barbara. So it seems like everybody does not like Barbara. We haven't had much mention of Barbara, but the, the girlies are not a fan of Barbara, it seems. Uh, Bud Automotive, obviously, also there's some sort of betrayal there. She also does not like Uranus. It's fascinating. Clive does not like Clive. We gotta figure out who the hell Clive is. Feline Bricks also, which is strange. I believe Feline is also in the brothel household, I think. Krayshawn, she doesn't like. Interesting. Jeremy also she doesn't like she she really doesn't like a lot of people. There's a lot of people she doesn't like. So like what is your story, girly? What is your story? Let's see. She's extremely sloppy. Also, she's a pleasure sim, which I think is interesting. She's not like a romance sim, but she is a pleasure sim. Um, she wants to become a professional party guest. Is she in the slacker career? No, but she wants to be. Okay. She's sloppy. She's very outgoing, more lazy. I would call it to be lazy. She's extremely playful, but kind of grouchy. To me, when somebody's really playful, but grouchy, it comes off as mischievous a little bit. Like they kind of like, maybe she likes causing trouble a little bit, especially as a pleasure sim. Pleasure sims tend to get wants to like pull pranks and things like that. And that kind of tracks with this sort of personality. What do, you, what do you got to say in your bio, girly? Caroline has never been very good at caring for anyone but herself. Maybe it is because so many loved ones in her life have betrayed her, or maybe it is just who she is. All that matters now is she has to deal with the mistake she has made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
the the literal mistake she has made little baby mistake poverty or r.i.p little baby mistake not r.i.p she didn't die she's just chilling over she got her face in the oh there's an ominous shadow floating above her but just because my game hasn't like reset itself yet here <laughs> anyway let's look at her memories okay met clive once again clive suspicious i don't know who the hell clive is bud died which is a happy memory she's happy about bud dying woohoo with aaron she had a woohoo with aaron fell in love with aaron made out okay her and aaron got going here made besties with aaron tyler died bad memory the the runaway the burglar the got a d vermin okay so what's this caught bud cheating okay lost bud as a best friend made enemies with bud made enemies with barbara okay so that's so barbara and bud i'm gonna guess it's barbara and bud were together she caught her sister sleeping with her boyfriend, I guess? They weren't married. Had very wo first woohoo with Bud. And then Sherwood joined the family. That's a different, that's a different baby. And at least grew up, Tyler grew up, but yeah, so... So she was pregnant with... With Mistake when Bud gets caught cheating. Okay, interesting. And then Bud was like her first kiss and everything. So she's kind of a little bit of a messy character. She's kind of... A little bit of a free spirit that doesn't like being held down, but has uh, had to do with the consequences of her actions that are currently holding her down. I, I think that's a good way to to, to look at her. Uh, let's look at the kids quick. So we have little Annalise here. Also an aspiration failure. Very bad. Neglected nightmare. <laughs> oh no, is her aspiration level. You're pretty neat. More shy. Kind of a... I feel like more like the mother. Kind of just a... She's nice and a little more serious. And just kind of in the middle. Nothing super extreme. Annalise's friends say she seems like she is from another family. But she feels like a normal girl. Hmm... That's interesting. I think it's interesting she's dressed like a little fairy. I don't know if she's supposed to be. I didn't change her outfit at all. This is just her like her default outfit. I wonder if that's like, is, it, is she supposed to be a little fairy? Or maybe she just likes to be dramatic. She likes to put on a show and have a little outfit on, just play in costume. Let's see, Met, also Met Clive. The, the pretty, the basic bunch of memories here. Pretty much the same sort of Tyler went missing tragedy. She never met Peyton and, and the other guy cautious, but she did meet Clive. I just, I don't know who Clive is, where Clive fits into this. I'm sure the babies don't have a whole lot. Yeah, the, the babies, this baby's only memories. Oh my, the majority of this baby's memories are red. This poor child. <laughs> like, oh no. But this is little Sherwood, which is the youngest of Isme Is Ismini and uh, Diago's kids. So he's the youngest one here is little Sherwood. What does your bio say, little Sherwood? Also, Sherwood, ooh, very sloppy, interesting. And, and kind of lazy. But very playful and pretty nice. Sherwood's bio. Sherwood loves playing with her sister, Annalise. Although everyone thinks he's a bit mischievous. I think this is probably supposed to... I think this this bio I did not retype. Um, I think this is supposed to play, say his sister. Sherwood loves playing with his sister, Annalise. Although everyone thinks he's a bit mischievous, Sherwood endears himself to others. He's a he likes to ham it up for people a little bit. He he's good at he's good at being lovable even though he's mischievous. Interesting. Interesting. Now last but well, I was going to say not least, but I don't know. This baby's name is literally Mistake. Little Mistake Poverty. Very sloppy, pretty outgoing, active and playful, but grouchy. But the bio, Mistake would like her mother to pay attention to her more. Maybe they could go out and play in the yard like the others. So yeah, so I guess she just, it's just a mom doesn't pay attention kind of thing. Mom doesn't care. I feel like maybe some of the other, these two are going to have to step up and take care of the baby more. Um, also aspiration failure. Lots of aspiration failures in this household right now. The only one that's not in failure is, is Sister Caroline up here. Also, I think it's good to, to know, or it's worth noting that Mistake and Caroline are cram jammed in this little tiny room together. <laughs> Meanwhile, Annalise has this massive, like, hall. <laughs> <laughs> this huge room. <laughs> so I think that's fascinating. It's bigger than the living room. Like, living room, Annalise's room. Like, hmm, okay. Huh. <laughs> huh. But I'm sure eventually, maybe, once these two are children, maybe they could they can all be kind of up here. I don't know. 
Uh, so that's kind of the basics of, of their personality. Let us look at their story. What are our pictures here? I'm intrigued. This, I think this household will have some good, good pictures. So first picture. This is Ismini, upset about having no money. This, this one with the wavy hair is Barbara. And then this is, uh, we can see the outfit's the same. This is, um, this is Caroline. So these are the three sisters. And then this is Diago, who's worried. These two are worried. These two don't seem to care. Okay, we got, that looks like probably baby Tyler, I'm gonna guess. And then Ismini's probably pregnant with Annalise. And then we got Diago. Okay, so this one's interesting. We have, this is Bud Automotive. This appears to be Bud Automotive. This appears to be Caroline. And there's some guy dancing. I don't know if this is just random that he's back here dancing or if it's purposeful, but there's like a military guy watching while dancing. Oh, that's a picture. Bud's naked in this nasty, grimy bathroom. Okay, now this is Caroline, who's pregnant. And then we have Ismini, who is also pregnant. Again, looks like this is baby, well, toddler, toddler Annalise, child Tyler, uh, Diego. Barbara. Okay, so I think she looks like she's mad at her for being pregnant. Okay, their baby is born, so now we've got the three kids. Okay, Tyler is upset about the baby. Maybe, may, oh, I think, you know what, I think this picture is the, the parents paying attention to the babies and Tyler kind of falling behind, being ignored a little bit. Feeling ignored, at least. And then he's, he's kicking the crib because he's mad. He's mad about being um, the left out kind of kid uh uh-oh <laughs> uh this is miss this is miss caroline drinking while pregnant with, with wine up here obviously this is like a water bottle but it's like the game's little you know alcohol bottle not good okay this is zelda who's another character in town we'll see eventually she seems to be gossiping with ismini and then little caroline is up here listening i wonder what that's about oh no then we have bud and barbara this, I think this might be at the Rose Bride Club or whatever it's called, the brothel. And Ms. Caroline is bursting through the door. <laughs> what? This, could somebody get this man some pants? Could somebody get this man some pants? Why has he always got no pants on? <laughs> like, sir? <laughs> sir? Get this man some clothes. Barbara's like, Barbara's probably like, he just, he just paid me. I didn't know. Like, did Barbara actually know? Like, she might not have known because like these two just like hooked up in a in a random ass bathroom and now she's pregnant. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe she did because she knew that her sister was pregnant. She was in some of the pictures with her being pregnant. I don't know, but it's like she's just doing her job. Okay, Barbara's now, is Barbara getting kicked out? I guess Barbara didn't was living there at the time and she looks angry. These two are just like, okay, bye. And she looks mad. Now she's given birth to mistake with all the kids here. Tyler is a teenager now. She looks worried. She looks very worried. Okay, we got a little Annalise doing doing um, ballet. Maybe that's what her outfit's supposed to be, is that she's just really into, cause she does have the ballet bar and she's music and dance. So she must just have like dreams of being a ballet performer. Okay, so this guy is, I know that this is, this guy's from the Brick household and I forget his name, but he lives next door and he became friends with Tyler. And I do recall that there's some connections between him teaching Tyler about like uh, conspiracy theories and stuff that got Tyler thinking about things and maybe possibly looking into things. So that's these two meeting and then Tyler going on a walk. Looks like he's out at night, maybe trying to go look through a telescope or something. We have like a, a tent and a some like a campfire here. Is, is he camping out? Ooh, we have the creepy children. We have the creepy children. I love the creepy children. Look at this is the children of the corn. These are all the corn children. He Tyler comes across. He's walking at night and he comes across all the corn children. Suspicious. What are the corn? What? What? Look at them all just looking at him. OK, and then he goes and tells his new friend. I got I saw alien kids. I saw all these alien kids. Uh Oh, the bunny. <laughs> it's a bunny. I don't think that's blue bunny though. That's a pink bunny, but it's a bunny. Okay, she's drinking. This is this is Caroline drinking. And then we've got these two playing and these two playing. Okay, Tyler receives a phone call from Blue Bunny. It looks like looks like he's thinking about Blue Bunny with the phone in his hand. Maybe the Blue Bunny asked him. The Blue Bunny called him and asked him to show up at the mansion because these are all the maid ladies at the mansion who are all like creepy clone ladies. Okay, he's appearing at the mansion. Okay, so Cautious Sleeper is here delivering the news. Okay, 
So that's why they must all hate Cautious is because he's he looks like he's delivering the news about Tyler. Everybody's crying and upset and about it. So that I guess that I mean it's kind of like don't shoot the messenger. But I don't know. Did did Cautious have anything to do with him? I don't know. Anything to do with the missing thing? You know? Okay. And this is I think this must be the the wife of the military guy maybe interesting that she's like comforting them she's she's very seems concerned maybe okay he and he loses his job she looks like she's stanky is that a stank line she's like and hungry uh-oh things are going downhill i didn't see anything of oh my god this was a little bit funny <laughs> i shouldn't be i shouldn't but this was a little but she's laying on the ground she's got her arms out like she's like just collapsed in front of this is but this is the this is the uh the funeral and they're they're all mourning mourning tyler's loss i wonder what lot this is if there's a lot that is this place there must be maybe not i don't know oh uh, is that the guy oh that must be the guy he's got obviously different hair clive whisper clive whisper that must be him has he appeared in other things i feel like he's appeared in other things what if he's an investigator he, he, he's watching Annalise, though. That's creepy. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is Ismini and Annalise at the store. Annalise is looking at her. She's she's shocked because Tyler's walking by. And I'm pretty sure it's the Tyler clone that's walking by here. And she's freaking out. Of course, everybody's probably just saying, like, you're, it's your imagination. There's also happens to be, like, a military-looking dude standing here. Once again, military presence everywhere. Okay, there's a Tyler walking. Okay, she's like having like a moment, like holy crap, or like this looks like she's about to have a breakdown. Yeah, she's having a breakdown talking about Tyler. The sisters tell, I mean, not the sister, the daughter's like, you're crazy, mom. <laughs> this poor child. Oh, wait, the last photo is her running to the toilet thinking about being pregnant? Not this. Is she, pr I didn't know she was, uh oh, she must be pregnant again. Are you kidding me? Oh no. That was the end of that. That was an adventure. That was a roller coaster, huh? Okay, let's actually hit play for a moment here. Now that we've established everybody. Uh-oh, he's having a meltdown here. Annalise was like, Dad's having another meltdown here. Oh, look, everything's really dirty in here. Everything's really nasty. What about you? You wanted a job also. Okay, you're taking a shower. Oh, the toilet's all nasty. What do you want, Annalise? She wants to be friends with... Rubana, who is, I think, from the orphan household. Maybe we could have her call. So she wants to get a job in the slacker career. And then he wants to get a job. So what I actually did was I went and put a jobs board on the mall lot. Is she sleeping in? I don't want her sleeping in. This is the, this is Ismini. I don't want her sleeping in this bed. This is, that's the wrong bed. Maybe we'll take Annalise with us. We'll leave mom alone with the toddlers. Take Annalise, Diago, and Caroline and go somewhere oh wait take annalise to school oh there we go my my game seems like it's it's goofing where it won't let her does it let her walk to school oh there we go okay we're gonna have her we're gonna walk have her walk to school i had to alter the time when i start because i like starting at monday at 7 a.m so i changed the time with a cheat that goofed it up look we got another military guy just just uh oh general gustave dufour okay okay general that is one of our neighbors, I believe. These two want to go get jobs. We can do that. We're going to go. Hopefully we don't have pink flashing. <laughs> this The Palace Mall. Sultan's Palace Mall. It's like a fancy mall. I don't recall. I don't think we got to see much of it one of the last times we played just because of some the issues we ran into. Oh, what are you dressed in? What is she dressed in? Wait, what are you dressed in, girly? What the hell is that? What did you just change into? To go to the mall? Girly? Was she in a pajama wear or something? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Okay, here we are. And Girly... Girly... Is in fact wandering around in... This. <laughs> Ma'am? Uh, I've got her getting the slacker job. I don't know what he should get as a job. If he previously had business and quit, I feel like he needs something a little different. What if I get him like an NPC job just casually? What if he's just like starts to, what if he takes a job just as a delivery driver? Like, I feel like he's just going to get whatever he can take. Delivery person. Okay, he nodded. He's like, yes, got a job. He, got, he took whatever he could from the jobs board. Now he's a delivery person. Okay. Who else is wandering? S Hello, sir. <laughs> Kapo? Kaipo? 
See, I gotta, I gotta select these Sims and see their bios because everybody's got a story. He's a team mascot. You wouldn't, you don't say. Oh, he's got a whole story. Is this a playable? I don't even think I, I haven't seen him. I don't think he's a playable because I've gone through most of the households and done some checking and stuff. Kaipo is a fervent supporter of the city's sports team and he displays his devotion by painting his entire body in the team's colors. According to Zelda, the local hairstylist, underneath all that paint, he's surprisingly attractive. His passion is expressed in an extravagant manner through the creation of banners that illuminate the stadium. With, special, with a special charm, earning him the nickname the Fiery Inferno Fanatic. Dang, okay. This random's just got like a whole whole story. All right. This lady too, I've seen her around. We make her selectable. Uh, oh, she wants to also be engaged to the same Aaron as this girly, as Caroline. See, I'm so busy checking out all the townies. Look at her, she's got a bio too. I don't know how to say her name, Nawa. I want to say Nawa or Najwa, takes her role in the Neighborhood Association seriously. But since Varushka returned to Town Hall, the short-lived peace has evaporated. In Najwa's own words, I can't help but be, but be a little nosy, and I'm hoping to find love in the neighborhood to finally bid farewell to my single days. Okay, girly. Well, again, every single one of these townies. This guy here, Top, his name's Top. <laughs> He's a, he is a military guy, but he is a playable that we will be playing eventually. This girly, this is Trudy Automotive, who is also the automotive household. She's, her, her husband is the brother to the guy that it fathered Caroline's baby mistake. So it might be a little awkward having her here. I'm sorry that that camera just, oh no. <gasps> Look, T Tyler, Tyler too is here. This is weird. What if he, see, where did he, did he see them at all? Also, just again, military everywhere. Did I ever select the military guys and see if they have anything going on in here? Oh yeah. Lloyd always manages to outwit the guards at the military base like a sly fox. While his fellow soldiers may find humor in his unconventional tactics, they admire his cleverness and his ability to overcome challenges. Okay, make unselectable. I'm spending so much time <laughs> checking out the townies. How about we just go back home? Oh no, look, it's Tyler. Wait, like, I don't know what to do when they run into each other, like, in gameplay. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to do. What do I do? It's like the, it's like the Bella Goth, again, it's like the Bella Goth thing when, when you have, like, Bella Goth wandering around your uber hood and, and like, what, what do you do? <laughs> Maybe he just, maybe he won't do anything and he just thinks he's, he's seeing things. He thinks it's just part of his, he's just gonna go home. He's like, I'm just, I'm just a, gr a grieving father that's seeing things. He's thinking about him. Look, he, he just kind of waved a little, he's thinking about him. Maybe he's just thinking, God, that kid looks a lot like my son. I must just be having grieving problems. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just going through it because my son's dead. I know that much. Okay, girly. What? This, I still don't understand. What is this? Is this like a, are you trying to get attention, Caroline? Is this what this is? Why don't you have pants on? What, what is going on? <laughs> are you attracting a new mate? Also, yeah, we got to figure out this Aaron thing. Okay. We have safely returned home. We have jobs. The children are very upset. Well, at least, well, they're actually, their needs are okay. It's just that their aspirations are bad and it, that affects their mood. At least it does in my game. I have a, I have a mod that causes that more. All right, Sherwood, do you want to learn to talk or not, buddy? Ha ha ha. It's a very orange scene. Her outfit and this, this, oh, Sherwood said no. Sherwood said screw off, lady. <laughs> Sherwood said screw you, lady. All right, she's gonna go to the bathroom anyway. Oh, Sherwood is a science nerd. Honestly, Sherwood is the right name for a science nerd. I need to get these babies' aspirations up. They're doing bad. They're having a bad time. Here we go. We're gonna actually try. It's hard because I think he's in like a bad mood and everything too. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> that did not work. I think this family is destined to suffer. Sister's coming to save the day. She says, you're not going to help this kid. I will. She said, I will take care of the child. She's like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if... If Caroline goes and gets married or like goes running off with some other guy and abandons mistake, you know? <laughs> Caroline woke up and is now drinking wine. Caroline woke up and said, oh my god, that damn kid. She's just standing here in a, in this, in this, in this messy room drinking wine with, with this filthy toilet behind her. Okay, Caroline. Okay, this is... <laughs> this, this household is falling apart. She's playing with a sec. The baby doesn't want to learn anything because its aspiration is bad, but it needs, only wants it, Heather, to learn things. 
So it's like we have to wait till they re-roll something or whatever. I feel like the baby should just be what if what if they agree to move the baby upstairs or something? I feel like the babies should just be up here because this is where like the toys are and stuff and like they could just be playing together. I'll put I'm gonna put mistake right up here. I dragged mistake right up so mistake can come and like play. They can at least have interactions. She wants to see the ghost of Bud because she's so mad at him, but it's like, girly, he is already a zombo. Also, I didn't notice these sitting here. Ew, look at how nasty they are. Ew. What is this little like, tiny hand print? Is that supposed to be like... <laughs> uh, Will Wright explain? Look, there's two little... Uh, Will Wright explain? The baby's hands are not that small. Is that a gnome? I feel like... Look, at there's another one here. That feels like a gnome handprint. Like, why are the gnomes in the... What? What is happening? <laughs> oh, only two days before Sherwood ages up, so that's not too bad. We'll have him out of the out of the picture. He'll be able to be grown and maybe sleeping in the same room as Annalise. That'll probably work. I'm gonna have him place Sherwood in the chair. I'm gonna try and get him to just place both of them. I feel like... I feel like Caroline is not gonna be touching any of them. If anything, we could have Caroline go out. Maybe I might I might actually bump Caroline's energy right now. So like her sleep schedule might be to be up all night. And her job is three ten PM to three AM. So she's gotta be up all night anyway. But she feels like any any day that she's not working, I feel like she's gonna be out like partying and stuff. Like I feel like that's what we need to do is go we need to invite this guy out on the town and see what happens. Uh oh, somebody just knocked over a trash can. Faleen Bricks! Or Feline? Feline Bricks, maybe? How dare you? Okay, she's calling Aaron right now. Let's go to a community lot. Uh, we'll take our car. She's gonna borrow the car. Nobody's coming with us. Where do they go? I think there's some, like, you know, there's a lot of places we haven't seen yet. There's a dance club. Ooh, maybe we should go to the dance club. These poor, these two are, the parents are taking care of the baby. Doing all the work. Caroline drives off on, for a date on her with her new man. So what if she ends up pregnant with this guy's baby? Oh no! Here we is. Look at this place. Oh, it's a little. We're we're a little laggy. I like the lighting so far. Big fan of the neon lights. Oh, we're going at two FPS while we load in here. All right, here's the man himself. So his name is Aaron. He's also a pleasure sim. Have picture taken with Caroline. There must be a, a place for us to do pictures. Ooh, picture. She wants picture taken too. Let's check out the inside. We haven't seen what the inside looks like. Ooh, look at the look at the colors. Oh, we do have like a little eating spot here little food court. Oh, this is like an open. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's like open here and open here. Then there's like this level. Wait, I think this is... Wait, this looks like the bathroom that's the picture of her and Bud woohooing. Like where he was like naked. Doesn't this kind of look... This looks like it must be it. I bet this is where they were dancing at. That must be... This must be the place they were at. Okay. This guy's name is DJ Boss Starkiller. <laughs> what a name. What a name. This place is fun. What was I looking for? I was looking for a, a photo booth. There must be one here if they're getting wants. Did I miss one? Oh, right up here. Yeah. The, but I do have... Uh, Ma'am? Ma'am? Are you okay, Jacqueline? <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> was, was, was that a workout? Why did you just do that? <laughs> Why did you just do that? I'm sorry? <laughs> okay. She got to get a little workout in, I guess. We're, we're taking pictures here. Oh, they can also woohoo, but let's have them. I'm going to have them take pictures because that's what they actually want to do. But then we're also going to woohoo. But I'll probably use my ACR menu to do that. I also just realized that the girly, I think the girly on the on the side of this here, which I didn't even notice, is the vampire lady. She got red eyes and teefies. That's funny. Look at our photo. Look at our, look at our little romance photo. Very nice. We gotta give him a big old kiss. We need a big old kiss. Come here, sir. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Lazy Bricks is here. Wait, Lazy and him got a thing going. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I didn't know that. Uh-oh. Aaron, what are you doing running around with all these girlies? Does You would think that Caroline would care. But she doesn't seem to. Does she just think, well, it's okay, I'm better than that lady. 
Rick's girly. Oh, she wants to woohoo with Aaron in the car. It could do that. I'll be Sasha's here. Why are all the teenagers here? Y'all, it's Monday at 10 p.m. It's a school night. What y'all doing? I do kind of want them instead to casual woohoo in the photo booth. All right, they're gonna they're gonna woohoo in here, I think, unless he got bumped. You coming in, Aaron? Okay. Time is running out. Oh boy. Okay, the woohoo has happened. It, it, it got a want for him. It didn't. She didn't have a general woohoo want, just the car one, unfortunately. Uh oh, Miss Crumplebottom's here. Are you trying to beat us? I think Miss Crumplebottom's trying to beat us up. Miss Crumplebottom, please. Miss Crumplebottom, please have mercy. Oh no. Ma'am. <laughs> Aaron's angry. Aaron's like, how dare you? Look at this. Wait, I. I need a screenshot of this scene. Look at everybody. Everybody's so mad in this picture. <laughs> I wish the lighting was a little brighter right now because, oh my God, <laughs> everybody's faces. Okay, I guess we could go get in the car and woohoo in the car. There we go. We finally got him in. I'm going to have him just woohoo. We're just going to woohoo. I'm not going to... Oh, oh my God. Jesus Christ. What just... <laughs> Okay, okay. God, everywhere we turn. Aaron? I feel like this is what the but like I feel like the fact that she's ignoring it is weird, right? All of his loves are being are being ruined. Also the charlatan is here. Hi, sir. I think she might maybe she's just maybe Caroline is like just delusional enough that she's just like he loves me. He he wants to pick me over all of them. Like he's she's just like He'll pick me. I I know it. Is she gonna? I think she's gonna try. Well, she can't ask him to, to propose, but could he? She ask him to leave partner. See the problem. I I don't know if I want to do that fully right now because of the fact we haven't got to play them yet. I don't want to mess up that. What's going on there? You know, she does want to woohoo with him again. Where, where else could they woohoo? Let's woohoo on a sofa. I guess they're gonna woohoo out here. But getting them in the car is kind of a pain in the ass. So they're just gonna woohoo out here. Apparently, this is the. Girls who got girls who got their heart broken by Aaron Club. <laughs> These two. Uh oh, Lazy's here. Uh oh, look at Lazy's angry face. She's so mad. <gasps> oh, he says no. Okay. Well, what what's your problem now, Aaron? What's your problem now? <gasps> Why is he turning her down over and over? <gasps> uh, oh my god, look at the date just went to horrible. Wait, I have not had the, the red date UI in a very, very, very long time. What just, how, what just changed? Aaron? What if, what if I do the, I have a feeling he will turn her down if I ask to leave partner. Cause there's a, it depends on their relationship right now. Yeah. He, she's like, please. He's like, how dare you? How dare you? Cause she, I'm doing this because she wants to be engaged to him. She's like, please. I love you. Oh no. <gasps> Look, she's just autonomously trying to do stuff and he's just, oh no. I feel like, I don't know what to, <gasps> she just, I don't know what to do. What did it say? I don't even know what, what's happening. It's just, what, holy heck, that date was incredibly bad. You're the worst time I ever had. Let's not ever do that again. Oh no. Okay, I think we need to just go home. I know you're you're trying to talk to him. I don't think why that was a weird little flip that ju he just I guess he's just in a bad mood. Look at him. He's a jerk. I think this Aaron guy's questionable at best. You know? Like what's your deal, Aaron? What's your deal, man? Does she, do you think I don't know if she still wants to be engaged to him. I feel like as a pleasure sim, she might be so changing constantly she's so embarrassed by him i feel like i want to lock in ask sim on date and she's gonna find a new special someone i feel like she might be as a pleasure sim she's the kind that's just constantly moving through different people you know her like a flavor of the week kind of gal the babies are so orange it's just because of their bad aspirations <gasps> oh my oh where the hell is she uh oh one of the babies is invisible right now uh, so I'm having an issue where one of the babies is invisible right now, and I can't find her. I just teleported her to the mailbox to see if it would reset her, 
Apparently she's playing, trying to play in the trash right now. <laughs> this is little Mistake. Mistake is literally invisible. Like, she's afraid of being invisible. She's literally invisible and I can't find her. Oh, wait. Look, there she is. Oh, my God. What the hell? It's so cursed. <laughs> what are you doing, Mistake? <laughs> Mistake is cursed. Make me walk? Oh, I didn't know that was an option. Let's reset. Oh my god. Well, now somebody's gotta go get this baby that's out in just the, tr the, the trash pile. She's just out here in the trash. She's just playing in the trash. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> okay, he has a want to throw a birthday party. I locked that in. What? I'm hearing a honk. Oh, oh god. Whose honk is this? What's the honk for? Oh, he's gotta go to work. Look, he's in his delivery job. What? Sir, why does he put on a, a wig of dreadlocks to go to work? Sir? <laughs> Sir? Anyway. Oh, God, she's pregnant. Look, she's got her belly bump. I didn't even see that happen. Oh, no. I need you to get this child out here. Literally, there's a child in the road playing in the trash. <laughs> Literally, there's a child in the road playing in the trash. Lady, please, stop dancing. Uh <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it? This household is chaos. Wait. Look at him. Oh no. It's Aaron. He's doing a poop bag. <gasps> He's lighting a poop bag on fire. Oh no. She just walks by. Is she supposed to like come out and, and stomp it out? Wait. Let me have her come out and stomp it out. Stop. You gotta stop. It's gonna burn away. Oh, no. <laughs> I need a picture. <laughs> I'm taking so many screenshots. Ma'am. Oh, God. She's gonna... She's going to do it. Aaron, what a what an immature jerk. Why would you... Look, at, I, I feel like this is a good example of, like, her poor choice in men. Like... Look at her. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Why why did he just flip on us? Maybe he could sense that she was getting attached. Okay, we need to put this baby away. I'm gonna make the babies tired so they'll just like go lay the hell down for a little while. You know? The other issue is like childcare, but I guess technically since she's pregnant, she's got some time off. Honestly, the the the, the smashed poop bag on the on the on the uh, porch here is Seems to match the rest of the scenery of the house. TBH. Oh my god, this baby is so unhappy. Where is he? Oh, he's in here. Of course he's in here. We've got to sort out these kids. It's like impossible. All right. Annalise is going to bed at 6 a.m. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh no, she's sleeping in Tyler's bed. This is Tyler's room. I didn't mention that also. This is Tyler's room. And he has this little like device in here which is like the spy device so it's interesting that like he's got that like he was trying to listen in on things and learn about stuff and then he went missing you know what i mean like he he knew too much or something he went too too close he got too close annalise sleeping in his bed though feels like like it could you could say it's like her missing him or something like that okay annalise's school bus is about to arrive she does need to show up feline are you back again Ma'am, what are you doing? You want to steal our poop bag, Mephiline? You you want to steal our poop bag? Huh? No, you're gonna... Okay. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it, Feline. Thanks. Everybody else is sleeping. I'm just gonna let them kind of chill for the day. The babies are just miserable. Like, the babies are absolutely miserable, and I don't know what to do. We're gonna try and potty train little mistake. I can't believe we're gonna have another goddamn baby, but hopefully... By the time she has the baby, this one will be pretty much ready to age up and we can have like a birthday party. Maybe our last day comes child in two days. Maybe tomorrow. Our last day in this household is going to be Wednesday because we're just doing three, three quick days. See, look, it's just like impossible to do anything with these babies because they're upset all the time. I think it's just going to, he's just going to, she's just going to poop herself. There are flies. There are flies around the child. There are flies on the child. Oh no, we got a little skunk out here in our trash now. The skunk's eating our trash. 
This goat's eating our trash. Where are you? Look at... Meanwhile, she's all maxed out. Like, everybody here is suffering but her. That seems correct. That seems correct for her. Once again, she wakes up and has herself a glass of nectar. Quote-unquote nectar. What if she names... What if... What if... Ismini is in, like, a, a bad enough spot that she, like, literally will name the baby, like, after Tyler in some way. Maybe not directly naming the baby Tyler, but, like, she wants to, quote-unquote, resurrect Tyler, but she's not really in a position to actually do that. Oops, my bed's... I got a bed glitch. There we go. But, like, what if, quote-unquote, resurrecting Tyler is naming the new baby Tyler? That feels like the right level of, like, broken <laughs> for this household right now. Oh, God, Annalise brought a friend home from school. It's one of the corn children. It's Catherine of the corn. Why would you do that to us, Annalise? Why would you bring Catherine of the corn home? Annalise, no, she wants to be friends with Catherine. Hello, corn child. What are the secrets that you know? I need to, I, now I gotta select corn child and see what corn child knows. What does corn child know? At first, the children of the corn weren't evil. They simply assisted with abductions and played their own pranks. However, later on, they were manipulated by the Lodge to lure Tyler to the mansion. By the Lodge? Who's the Lodge? The children don't seem to care how their powers are used. Although Doctor wants to gather them, Catherine and the others want to continue frightening the neighborhood residents. Wow. Fascinating. Okay. I don't think I looked at the bio of the other child of the corn that appeared in the other household. Maybe you shouldn't be friends with child of the corn, though. That seems ominous. Oh, did the baby... Oh my god, the baby learned something. Look, this baby is... mistake is not in aspiration failure for the first time in her entire life. Uh-oh. Please, child, please. No. Oh my god. I know, Sherwood. I know. I, I feel you, buddy. I feel you, buddy, but we gotta try. We gotta try. Okay, now what do you want? She wants to go on a date. Like, who else could she... What's Who she got chemistry with? Oh, she's got chemistry with titanium purple. Biker cushion. Wait, maybe her and biker cushion need to be a thing. Oh, wait, she's friends with this? Wait, she's friends with this uh, burglar guy who's suspicious. Oh, God, this, con this confused me so much for a second. I looked over here and I saw the... I saw the pink... And I thought Annalise had gotten green arms or something. What is this? Why did the- why does this child have- it's funny this kid has the exact same outfit as Annalise. Almost, except missing the wings. The creepy corn child is trying to become one with Annalise. Maybe creepy corn child is trying to be Annalise. She looks like she must be really close. Look at the time. I'd better go. Yeah, why don't you? Why don't you, girly? What do you think happens? Let's let's see what happens when we charm Biker Cushion. What do you think, Biker Cushion? Oh, we are charming Biker Cushion. Hello, sir. Okay, we're finally getting like the children in line here. Who's who's getting? I think there's a carpool. Whose carpool is here? Oh, it's hers. Oh my! What did I pause? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Okay, well they were they were getting a little flirty. Biker Cushion's kind of a cutie though. Like look at let me back it up here. Where'd you go, buddy? Look at Mr. Biker Cushion. Look at his little face. Hey, we need a biker cushion, baby. I don't know. I gotta unclog this. Biker Cushion, please do not yell. The children are sleeping up at the top of the stairs. Like, please stop yelling in our house. He's trying desperately to eat this rotten hamburger. He's like, actually, I like bad weather. I've been under the weather lately. Things have been bad. He says, I'm sorry you've been under the weather lately. I'm sorry things are bad. Maybe you should buy a cat or a dog. Sometimes that is nice. She says, um, do you ever just go to work? Like, do you work? <laughs> No, he says, I hate, I don't, no, I don't work. I don't oh, like working. Man. I like woohooing. <laughs> he says, I don't work, I, <laughs> I get it on. <laughs> I like to just woohoo. <laughs> um, did you go to school? 
No, I I never went to school. Oh god, she's passing out. Oh, this conversation has bored. He says, actually, I I, I collect rats. I like rats. I never went to school. I like rats. Oh, she's gonna get woken up by the phone. There you go. Saved by the bell. Just get up. So it is Wednesday morning here, by the way. But <laughs> amongst the chaos here. Um, so it's our last day in this household. And we... Did Biker Cushion... I think Biker Cushion finished our meal. Wow. Okay, Biker Cushion. We should throw a birthday party today for both Sherwood... Really? For Sherwood? Let's see. One day. One day. For both of these kids. Miss Caroline's back. She got promotion. Oh, here's the bus. Sure, little little Annalise, are you done? Annalise, you didn't do your homework. Oh no, Annalise. Annalise. Okay, she didn't do her homework. You're just sitting here watching the children die. Okay, you're. Never mind. You're you're going to work. Okay. I guess because she got a promotion, she does have to go to work during the day, which is kind of a bummer for her. But here we are. Oh no! Oh god, I think she's having her baby. Okay. He's running around. Here we go. I swear to god, if this is twins or something. Oh boy. I'm nervous. I'm not even. No! And okay, but here's the issue is I have the triplets and quads mod. Oh no. So when with the triplets and quads mod, it shows two, but it might be three or four. Because the, the, it doesn't have UI to accurately... Oh, no. We've got one. Oh, no. I'm afraid to see how many popped up. Two? Is that just two? Okay. It is properly two. Okay. Okay. We do have two. It is just twins. It is just twins. Here. Congratulations. Oh, boy. Twins! How could you? The boy and a girl. I'm gonna look up TY names that are like Tyler, but not Tyler, you know? Who's gonna stay home with the children? Hmm. Who should? Honestly, I feel like Diago. Because he's the one that seems like he's more interested in that. Okay, let me look up their names. Okay, I have returned after a long adventure on the baby name sites, and we have. <laughs> We have Ty Lee and Ty Lo. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel like Diago is like, um, are you sure you want that, honey? <laughs> and uh, she's like, yes, this is what I want. This is what I want. Luckily, we have some age ups happening, so we don't have to worry too much about like baby um, uh, crib issues. I am going to. This, I do, since we have a little bit extra money from like promotions and stuff, I do think I need to just throw down a simple little one of these bad boys. And there we go. So we have a proper bottle fridge up here. So I feel like that'll be helpful. Imagine if she just named them all Tyler. I, sh I don't think I wanted to go that far, but that would have been so funny. <laughs> just Tyler and Tyler, because technically Tyler can be a unisex name. Oh boy, she's going to go to work now. <laughs> Yeah, so Diago has the day time off for for um to be here and take care of all the kids. It feels like he might be the one more for that. What are you trying to do? I don't know. He's trying to feed the baby maybe or something. There's just a lot happening with for one sim. Uh-oh. Caroline has passed out in her underwear in her room. What are you trying to do? I need you to throw a birthday party. There we go. Oh god, not Bud Automotive. Yeah, we could be evil and invite Bud. That's a kid. Zelda could come by. Gawain Tomato. Sure, we're friends with him, apparently. We don't really know a lot of kids to invite, unfortunately. I could technically teleport some. Annalise, maybe we could get this Gru Grubana girly to show up. Uh, let me get him a birthday cake. We're gonna. I'm mostly just going to focus on getting a birthday cake for the child. There we go. I I invited the uh, girly that um, Annalise wants to be friends with. So she's here. Look at our crew. Look at our birthday crew. Welcome to the chaos. They both seem like they could be pink buddies. They both love pink. Maybe that's why Annalise wants to be her friend is because of pink. Uh-oh, we've got a pop-up. I'm honestly going to ignore it right now just because I want to focus on the party. 
Oh, Lazy's here. I didn't invite Lazy. But I guess Lazy. I guess probably because I invited Step, who is Lazy's kid, <laughs> as we can see. <laughs> like mother, like son. Uh oh. Okay. Oops. It's a six. I think um, I gotta get her to the birthday cake. She's gonna age up away from the birthday cake if we don't hurry. Oh, there's a flirt happening between Lazy and Gawain Tomato. Oh my. Lazy? Everybody's in Zelda's swooning Gawain. Okay, Mr. Tomato's got it going on, apparently. All the ladies really like his dad bod. There we go. Look at our wonderful party. What is she doing here? Wait, but like, why are both of the... These are the two girlies that like now hate Caroline for... Because they saw her f fooling around with their mans. What the hell? <laughs> Good thing Caroline's passed out in her room and is not here to fight with everybody. There we go. Okay, girly. I like her little hairdo. Oh, she's cute. What should she be? She likes ballet. She likes... Maybe she should be popularity. Maybe popularity, so she wants to be like a famous ballet dancer and everybody loves her. But she, her turn-ons are formal wear and mechanical and hates brown hair. You know what? You can keep that, girly. Um, I don't think we're going to age anybody up alongside her. This child's name is Bumblebee Sunrise. I love Bumblebee Sunrise. Bumblebee, Bumblebee Sunrise is my new favorite name. Okay. Well, she's she growed. This kid's supposed to be aging up, too. He's passed out, I think. I'm just going to have him grow up. We're just going to let him grow the heck up. <laughs> like, uh, grow up, Sherwood. Like, come on. <laughs> like, just grow up. Just grow up, Sherwood. We need the sweet relief of age up time. There we go. How long does Mistake have? Two more days. Okay, he's got a little... He's got a unique look to him. Wait, let me look at him. Okay, no, I guess he... Does he look like his dad or his mom more? I don't really know. I think that Annalise looks like the dad. Maybe... Maybe more of mom. I don't know. Is so that I guess that's the question. Wait, I was gonna add another bed in here, but is Sherwood gonna take over Tyler's room? He looks like he already is. Uh oh, he's passing out. Buddy, just go to bed. I hate it when they do that. Just just go to bed. There we go. I did get another crib for now, just because we need it. We need it. What, uh, uh, sir? Excuse me, Gawain. Gawain is on our bed. Hello. Wait, you need to stand up. What, is, what are they trying to do to you? What is... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Not at the child's birthday party, ladies. Please? <laughs> Somebody's in here sleeping. Ooh, Annalise got her, her gender preferences randomized per my ACR settings. She, she prefers boys. All right, we're almost done with this chaotic household. I don't know what to say. Um... Uranus and Mr. Tomato are on the bed. I like how much of a consistent character Uranus has become. <laughs> like he just kind of pops up every time, every every episode so far. After his, you know, what is this puddle that has formed? There's a mysterious puddle. Also, I did not give Girly here a makeover. I think we need to. Let's see what I can do. Okay, this is not the best uh, modeling shoot next to our like bathroom that is rotting. <laughs> our our filthy bathroom. But look how cute she is. I gave her, I decided she needs to continue living her fantasy. So she has a wonderful little ballet outfit on with some, with a cute little bun that's got these little like pieces in the braid and stuff. She's, she's living her fantasy and you cannot stop her. She's also going to clean the bathroom for us. I appreciate it, Annalise. Mommy just came home from work and is exhausted. You missed the birthday party. Uh, this birthday party needed some more gusto. Next time, pay more attention to your guests. Final party score? Snoozer. What else would this household have for a party? Look, he's got a bad party memory. This was a very, very chaotic household. He is sobbing, I think, about his party. He does want Annalise to be an overachiever, which is nice. So, okay. <laughs> that is where this episode is going to end. I have been recording for nearly three hours. This household was a lot. I don't like having to do the dumb like and subscribe thing. But as a reminder, again, uh, if you enjoyed the video, 
I appreciate a like. It does help um, the algorithm and all that fun stuff. And also, I appreciate a subscription. I'm very close to uh, 3,000 subscribers, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this chaotic household. I will see you next time, and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>